All right, buckle up, folks, because we're about to embark on a journey through the lyrical labyrinth of Gunna, the maestro of rhymes, the sultan of flow, the undisputed heavyweight champion of clean beats. Now, while some folks might throw around the term snitch like it's confetti at a parade, I prefer to see Gunna for what he truly is, a musical virtuoso who's never missed a beat on any album, ever. Seriously, it's like he's got a direct line to the rhythm gods or something. Let's talk about that flow, shall we? I mean, we're talking about flow so smooth it could slide through TSA without setting off any alarms. It's cleaner than a newly waxed floor in a hospital. You know you've hit the jackpot when you can't even pick a favorite Gunna song because they're all just that good. It's like trying to choose your favorite flavor of ice cream when you're standing in front of a freezer full of Ben and Jerry's. Impossible. Now, when you're a true fan, you don't just stop at listening to the music. Oh no, you want to know everything there is to know about your favorite artist. And folks, let me tell you, I was deep in the gunner rabbit hole. I'm talking conspiracy theories, fan theories, and trying to calculate his net worth down to the penny because, hey, I'm low-key a pocket watcher to the max. So in this video, we're going to dissect Gunna's lifestyle like a frog in biology class. Strap in, because it's going to be one wild ride. All right. Let's dive into the wild and wacky world of Gunna, the rap sensation who's worth a cool four million dollar. Picture this, a young artist bursting onto the scene like a burst water pipe, flooding the rap game with his signature style and infectious beats. Gunna didn't just break through the ceiling of fame, he smashed through it with the force of a meteor hurtling through space. It all started with his iconic Drip Season mixtapes. Think of them as the appetizer before the main course. But oh boy, when that main course arrived in the form of his debut studio album, Drip or Drown 2, in 2019, it was like a feast for the ears. And just when you thought he couldn't top himself, along comes Wuna in 2020, catapulting Gunna to the tippy top of the Billboard 200 chart faster than you can say drip too hard. But wait, there's more. Fast forward to 2022 and Gunna is back at it again, scoring yet another number one album with DS Forever. It's like he's playing a never-ending game of musical Monopoly and he's collecting Boardwalk and Park Place like it's nobody's business. Now, let's talk collaborations. Gunna doesn't just play well with others. He thrives in the company of musical titans, Travis Scott, Gucci Mane, Lil Uzi Vert, Lil Durk, Drake, you name them, Gunna's probably laid down a track with them. It's like a who's who of the rap world, and Gunna's right there in the thick of it, holding his own and then some. But alas, every hero has their moment of reckoning. In May 2022, Gunna found himself in hot water, or should I say hot cuffs, as he was arrested alongside fellow rapper Young Thug. Talk about a plot twist worthy of a Hollywood blockbuster. According to the 180-page indictment, Gunna, or should I say Sergio Kitchens, was accused of some pretty serious stuff. Drug possession with intent to distribute receiving stolen property, you name it. It was like something straight out of a crime drama, with Gunna cast as both the protagonist and the antagonist in his own real-life saga. But fear not, dear fans, for our hero's tale doesn't end there. Despite facing the music, pun intended, Gunna didn't let the bars of his cell confine his spirit. No, sir. In December 2022, after pleading guilty to a single charge of racketeering, Gunna was handed a five-year sentence. But here's the kicker. With one year commuted to time served and the rest suspended subject to probation conditions, including a whopping 500 hours of community service, Gunna was back on the streets faster than you can say justice served. Some saw this as Gunna snitching on and betraying young thug who put him in a position to be successful. But hey, in the crazy world of rap, anything can happen, am I right? Born Sergio Giovanni Kitchens on June 14, 1993, in College Park, Georgia, he probably needed a map just to find his own birth certificate. Growing up with four older brothers, he learned to rap faster than his mom could count them all. Inspired by the musical legends like Outkast, Cameron, and Chingy, he decided to make his own tunes at the tender age of 15, probably because he realized it was easier than trying to get the attention of his siblings. His educational journey was 
as varied as his rhyme schemes, from Ronald E. McNair Middle School to North Springs Charter High School, and finally landing at Langston Hughes High School. If there's one thing Gunna can teach us, it's that you can go from McNair to fame. In 2013, he dropped his mixtape Hard Body under the alias Young Serg, which probably had people wondering if he was a rapper or a gym instructor. Fast forward a bit, and he met Young Thug through a mutual friend, because apparently even rappers need a LinkedIn network. Renaming himself Gunna, because let's face it, who wouldn't want a name that sounds like a cross between a cowboy and a water pistol? He popped up on Young Thug's track, Floyd Mayweather, proving that even if you start with a name like Young Serg, you can still end up rubbing elbows with the big shots.